Joining me now, Strategic Wealth Partners President and CEO Mark Tepper, Anderson Capital Management Chief Investment Officer Peter Anderson, and Macro Trends Advisors Founding Partner Mitch Rochelle. Peter, let me start with you. The Federal Reserve yesterday raising interest rates for the first time in three years to combat uh, inflation we haven't seen in 40 years. The central bank signaling increases at each of the remaining policy meetings for the rest of this year. That's seven rate hikes, plus four more next year. That's the expectation. Mm -hmm. Fed Chair Jay Powell commenting on the war in Ukraine and its potential impact on the U.S. economy. Listen. The implications of Russia's invasion of Ukraine for the U.S. economy are highly uncertain. In addition to the direct effects from higher global oil and commodity prices, the invasion and related events may restrain economic activity abroad and further disrupt supply chains, which would create spillovers to the U.S. economy through trade and other channels. Peter, your reaction to not just what the Fed did, but what the Fed <laughs> said yesterday. Again, the Wall Street Journal editorial page points out today, even with 11 projected interest rate increases in the next two years, rates would still be well below the level of inflation. So negative real interest rates, that's how far behind they are. Well, you know, I couldn't agree more, Degan. Uh, we have been behind, the Fed has been behind for years, frankly. I've been saying for years that interest rates are too low, especially to take the 10-year Treasury. So, uh, look, he's off to a good start. You know, this isn't our first rodeo when it comes to interest rate uh, hikes. But for some people out there, it has been because it's been a while. But it's, it's necessary for the economy to grow. And also, it's a good sign anyway because it, when you're raising rates, it means the economy is is strong and profits are rising. So for those that haven't been through uh, interest rate cycles, it's somewhat confusing. And of course, we wring our hands. Has that been enough? Should he have done 50 basis points? But given the confusion that we also have now coming out of COVID and the Ukraine conflict, it is very difficult to thread this needle. But I do have confidence that at least we're, we have started. In fact, in fact I was concerned that uh, maybe the Fed wasn't even going to raise rates at this meeting just because there's so many other moving parts but hats off I think it is the right direction and lastly we also have to realize that when you have a rising interest rate environment a lot of people have thought that stocks sell off but when you look at the past 12 cycles of rate increases the S&P 500 has done on average about 9% return. I would take that any day. So I'm very optimistic that we're moving in the right direction. It might not be to everybody's satisfaction how quickly we're getting there. And of course, we have to concern ourselves about supply chain issues, but at least we're moving forward. Great to talk to you this morning, Peter Anderson, Mark, and Mitch.